Wikipedia. Um, since you drew two, we'll just do the other one. Um, it's Red Team's red turn. Team. I'm all confused. Who's next? Women doing all the work. <laughs> 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 Double duty. Let's see how the Red Team can do with. Oh, it's <laughs> We actually. Uh, wait. We've seen this one. We've all seen we've all this. This show is called That's So Magically Meta. <laughs> oh, no. We've seen it. We've all seen it. They've all seen it. Except for. I've seen it. Nope. Alright, it goes to the blue team. There's one person. So he gets to do it all by himself. Hey, I believe you. Just leave it all out on the court there, champ. This show's by Rachel Fair. Rachel in the house. Rachel? No. Has anyone seen this show? Besides our cast? No. I'll be the critic. <laughs> <laughs> I support their section. Yeah, I think this is. <laughs> Why don't you join them with it and you can all be the critic? Oh my. Oh. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what happens. All right. How many points do we need? <laughs> Four critics. And me. Oh, I got to read it too. Let's see what the show is. <clears throat> Welcome to the School of Magically Meta Studies. Learn firsthand from our founder, Rachel, how the word meta is the most powerful tool in our life kit for understanding ourselves, our stories, and the world in which both are realistically grounded. With a dash of sparkle, a glitchy shadow, and a banker's box full of Legos, the classroom becomes a metascape to explore identity, trauma, and cycles. That's so magically meta. You got this coffee. <coughs> Ting! Well, look here, I have a magic hat. Look around me. A classroom. <laughs> Perhaps it's a classroom you remember. Maybe it's the classroom you spent first grade in. Think of all those memories you had. Let it fill the space. <laughs> Maybe your classroom looks different than the person next to you. Maybe it looks exactly the same. Maybe there are shared universal experiences we all have. You, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your first grade classroom. Oh, uh, there, were, there were chairs. There were chairs. There were chairs. We have those. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where in the classroom did you sit? Oh, uh, uh, the second row, third to the right. And who is in front of you? Oh, uh, 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 lady who really loved penguins. We start to see a lady who loves penguins <laughs> show up out of thin air. Oh, hi. <laughs> you sure have a lot of penguin stickers there in your desk. I bet you thought I was just a memory, but I'm real. Cool. <laughs> I sure hope this is all real. I, uh, I'm not doing so good in school. Because, well, my big brother bullies me. Is that how your first grade is? <laughs> Good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and do you recall your first grade classroom? No. <laughs> a blank room, a void, nothing in it. The what void did I begins learn? to suck him down into a tunnel. <laughs> There's loud shaking and booms. And bats. Yeah! <laughs> and glitter. Arithmetic, letters, syllables. <laughs> Mrs. Spinelli! <laughs> that was your first grade teacher's name! <laughs> and you, do you remember your first grade classroom? Yes. Tell me something about there it. There was a box of Legos. Oh! oh good job. Nice. And what did you build with the Legos? A bunch of Pokemon. <gasps> and that's what I have here! <laughs> <laughs> and actually, 
Legos in my first grade classroom, too. And I played with them a lot. And I love them. It always really bugged me. Because kids would always make really messy spaceships. And I loved mine to be symmetrical. And maybe that's because, you know, I had a little disordered childhood with my parents. I had some stuff going around in first grade. <laughs> and maybe I sought out the organization of my spaceships from my Legos. And I just couldn't contemplate that other kids were okay with letting them be messy. But maybe I should have been more open to that and embracing and dealing with that mess instead of forcing myself into that organization. <laughs> I think it's fair to say like 4,000 points. Consult our unbiased Supreme Court here. <laughs> A lot of red on that court. <laughs> It did start in a classroom. That was pretty yes. spot on. Unlike Connor, she didn't ask any audience participation. Mm -hmm. um, but the Lego part was pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I want to give Sam? Yeah. I'll give Sam like a thousand points for hopping up. <laughs> Yeah, more points for Sam. Yeah, that's uh, 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 <laughs> Five points for the blue team, and uh, what did you say, 5,000? For Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> he earned it. Five thousand, okay. or a thousand and one points now for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's got a thousand and one points. Sam's doing good. Um, cool. I'll check the time real quick. We've got six shows down. Ooh, okay. Yeah. We can do it.